All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to refreshen your plastic trim. Usually the, um, the piece here between the hood and the windshield. See how that's nice and black? Totally faded, that's what the sun does and car washes and liquid waxes and all that that builds up. So I already did this side, the two corners, that side and the other, and I figured to break out the video camera to show how to do this. So let's get it set up. Okay, first of all, get yourself a heat gun. I got a Milwaukee heat gun and stand upwind. Don't be downwind because you don't want to be smelling this melting, effectively you're melting the top layer and heating up the plastic. And don't hold it in one position too long. So let's see. And also don't hold it to the paint too long either. Try to keep it mostly on the plastic. You can even pop the hood if you really wanted to. But look at that. Become black. Just a nice distance, maybe an inch to two inches away. So the heat doesn't cool down too much. And after doing this, I'll still put like a ceramic coat, like just a spray ceramic or something, just to keep it moist, because this will go back over time in the sun, it will fade again. So to keep that nice black. We'll check that out. Get inside the windshield here. But nothing dates a car like faded headlights. I have a video on how to count compound your lights quickly. Get it done in literally minutes. And this. So look at that difference there. Hang on, there we go. Look at that difference. Nice and dark black, totally faded. Just like that. All right, so let's. Now it looks a lot cleaner, a lot nicer. And that just looks nasty. So, a heat gun, a lot of people don't know that. A heat gun will do that. There's some pieces like this that's plastic, but it's not going to help. And it helps a bit with this, not too much. So now I'm going to show you, I'm just going to finish that piece. I'm going to show you another product that is pretty phenomenal. Um, one of the best I've found for black trim. There's a lot of black trim companies um, that make a product and I tried them all and I found which one works best. So let me share that with you as well. All right. So as you can see, looking nice and black, that was all faded before. And I did try it right here. So you can see it's a little darker here than there, but not enough for me to go through the whole process. I'm gonna use that other product I'll show you here in a second. But here, I just did a test area and obviously it's a lot darker. So I think it's worth it to do it on the tailgate. So check that out. They do this to stadium seats. They'll they'll refresh in stadium seats in, in um, you know big sport arenas to uh, revitalize the plastic. Just give it a nice heat and get that color to pop again. Look at that. And if you do smell a burning, and I mean not here, but up the front, where sometimes you know leaves and uh, pine needles can get uh, into your um, up front, you know through those little grates, 
stop because <laughs> you're burning that wood. You don't want to start a fire. So if you smell burning, like clear it out first. Clear out all the debris and leaves that you can because this gets super hot. That, you know, super, super hot. So but we'd have no issues of leaves back here or pine needles. But all right, I'll finish the bumper, get a good, nice shot of it, and then we'll try that other product that we will actually finish off and protect all this stuff so it stays nice and black all right be right back all right so there is the finished product went over that looking good so now I finish off with this now this I've tried all the mothers and black back to black and all those trim so we're gonna put this here there uh, to protect it anything that's black trim so just make sure you clean up the vehicle as much as possible and we're going to do it up here too. So let's get to it. So this product, and by the way, they're not paying me to do this. I found this on my own. Definitely put a glove on. They supply gloves. But you'll see how this does a nice protective... I don't know if the camera's picking that up, how nice and black that is. But already was nice and black. And this is just dialing it in. So just do a nice, nice wipe, wiping of it. Look how nice that is. Let's just try to get a, a nice line to show you the difference. So remember, this was, this was brutal here. Trying to hold the camera at the same time. But look at that difference. Right there. Again, I don't know if the camera picks that up, but what I can see here is it's definitely a lot shinier. Let's try it here. finish that off in a bit and then here again we just did all the heat here let it cool down and then we'll finish it off with this and then the key thing about this you do not want to have it rain within 24 hours you have to let this dry this this chemical we're putting on top but it's going to always look fresh like that. So super fresh and heat gunned. It's already black, but again, watch. Simply, simply wiping it on. You can see it gives it that shine. So check your forecast. Make sure you're not going to put it on when it's going to rain. And there you go, folks. I have other videos like how to permanently put tire dressing on your tires so they're always shiny and you just have to hose it down. You can wipe it with your hand actually on this tire. So look, you see how nice that is? Watch this. That's not armor off folks. It's called Duracoat. It's a big job, but I did it on this tire so I don't have to wash it all the time. Um, and have videos on how to polish your headlights and paint wheels and a whole bunch of just simple detailing stuff. Like for instance, maybe I'll do a video on this. So I, oh, I did the heat gun here too. This was really bad. Let's see, I'm gonna put that on as well. I think that'll show you how much darker it gets. And, and this was completely white faded. So that heat gun brought it back nice. And then I finish it with that Cerakote. And then I'm going to put some black wrap on this just to create like that black bar. And then this uh, truck's looking fresh. All right, so subscribe. I also have lots of Land Cruiser videos. One on that E55 there. That's a Japanese right-hand drive Land Cruiser. So Land Cruiser stuff, truck stuff, wheels, tires, detailing, that sort of thing. So hopefully uh, that helped you and just a cool idea. Look at that. Look how nice that is. Come, you come back and you do another quick little buff 
make sure everything was covered. But the before and after picture of that is night and day, folks. Even this stuff. See? So this, I tried the heat gun, didn't really do much, but look what this Cerakote does. And Cerakote is gonna be good for about six months uh, before you'd wanna do it again. There, ta-da. And that's what you're looking for. Let me get the, hello, dropping it. Cerakote, trim coat. It's not cheap, but it does a great job. All right, folks, oh yeah, and I can hit this too. Let's quickly see. Look what the Cerakote does there. Sweet. So to do this whole truck, it'll probably take me two packs. And I think when you buy that, it comes with 10 packs or something like that, or about 20 bucks. But if you don't wanna to have to armor all and, and back to black, I've tried that too, by the way, and this is just so much better. Okay, cool. All right, subscribe. Peace out. Thanks for watching.